بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين جل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الوهن وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزان أولمك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين. We continue our discussion about etikaf. The next issue is when etikaf can be valid throughout the year. Are there specific times that we can do etikaf or it's general. Mata yasehul etikaf. When etikaf is valid. Al ma'roof sehatul etikaf fi kul vaqtin yasehu fi his song. What is very well known among our jurists is that etikaf is valid whenever you can fast. As we said before also, you know, when we refer to the uh, books by some other scholars last week, this issue was there. For example, day of Eid al-Fitr, you cannot fast, you cannot do a takeoff. Day of Eid al-Abha, you cannot fast, you cannot do a takeoff. وَقَدْ دُعِيَ أَنَّهُ مِمَّا لَا إِشْكَالَ فِيهِ وَلَا خِلَافِ Even some scholars have claimed that there is no problem in this, there is no disagreement about this. So they almost claimed that there is ejma, although they didn't want to say there is ejma, but uh, they said they have not come across any disagreement. وَقَدْ يُسْتَدَلُّ لَهُ بِإِطْلَاقِ الرِّوَايَاتِ وَعَدَمِ تَقْيِيدِهَا حَتَّى الضِعَافِ مِنْهَا بِوَقْتٍ خَاسِ Sometimes they argue for this by referring to اطلاق of روايات of اتقاف there is no restriction to a particular time in month of Ramadan or Rajab. Even in weak hadith, there is no restriction. Not only there is no authentic, sahih, verified hadith to suggest that we must do it in particular time, even there is no weak hadith to suggest that. Then Sheikh Irwani says, Hada. Adam is Khuzza. Take this. ولكن الظاهر عدم وجود نص له اطلاق كذلك. Although there is no restriction, but this doesn't mean there is اطلاق. We don't have a text, a you know, نص, a text that has ظهور في الاطلاق because اطلاق has conditions. Muqaddimat al must be there. It must be maqam bayan Yes, there is no restriction. There is no, you know, a specific time required in hadith, but it doesn't mean there is a tlaq. فَإِنَّ أَحْسَنَ مَا يُمْكِنُ تَمَسُّكُ بِهِ To show that there is no etlaq, he says, the best text that one can use to argue from is the hadith of Dawood ibn Sarhan. Dawood ibn Sarhan says, Bada'ani Abu Abdullah alayhi salam min ghayra an as'ala. He says, without me asking, Imam Sadiq himself initiated this, you know, conversation he himself said this so it was not a reply to my question imam himself said 
الاعتكاف الثلاثة أيام اعتكاف is three days is the minimum يعني السنة إن شاء الله meaning that مستحب اعتكاف is three days if Allah wants and you are given tawfiq you can do اعتكاف for three days خب this hadith if we accept it as you know verified authentic hadith and we say there is no problem in sanad is the best text to say that look doesn't say three days in month of ramadan or month of rajab which ten which three days okay so this is the best thing one can use but you see even here he says we cannot say there is etlaq why because etlaq is not just not to mention modifications or not to have restriction etlaq means that there must be no qaid no modification but also mutakallim should be fi maqam al bayan and also must be able to mention qaid so there are several requirements for you know we call them muqaddimatul hikmah so here there is no qaid yes but was imam sadiq alayhi salam meaning to mention all the conditions of itikaf here was he fi maqam bayan for anything required so that we say now that he has not mentioned a specific time so there is itlaq no there is no such thing laysat fi maqam bayan min min al jahat al matluba from the point which is you know wanted and desired by us which is about timing what if someone wants to use asalatul bara'a instead of itlaq which is dalil al lafzi if someone wants to go to asla amali asalatul bara'a yaqul sheikh ibn says la yumkin at tamassuk bi asl al bara'a why because here we want to say that a takeoff is possible anytime we don't want to uh, you know negate a taklif so that we say ask is that there is no taklif la an al matlub isbat istihbab al i'tikaf fi kull waqt because what we want to establish here is that a takeoff in every time is mustahab wahaza la yumkin tahqiquhu bi asl al bara'a we cannot establish this with asalat al bara'a why la'annahu hadith nafiyan asalat al bara'a negates taklif la isbat asalat al bara'a cannot be used to establish for example validity of etikaf every time every you know season every month of the year so then what is the most suitable way he didn't accept itlaq he didn't accept asalatul bara'a he says al ansab al istidlal bi anna al i'tikaf law kana muqayyadan bi waqtin lan akasa ala al riwayat wa fatawa al fuqaha had i'tikaf bin limited to a particular time this must have been reflected in the hadith and fatwas and since this has not been reflected it means that it was not limited wal adamu yani adamu in a cause he fil fatawa wal riwayat dalil al adam means that it is not muqayyad had it been limited it should have been mentioned so you may say what's the difference between this and itlaq he says i am not using itlaq of a specific riwayah this is itlaq of the whole 
set of hadith that we have. We say at least in one of these hadith there must be a mention of Qaid. So, the next issue is that al for ibadatun. Etikaf is ibadah. خب عبادات اول نید قصد قربه Remember in اصول الفقه we said واجبات are uh, classified in different ways One is to classify them into تبسلی و تعبدی واجب تبسلی with صاد Means it has to be brought even without نیا of قربه it will work For example if mosque is made نجس it's wajib to clean the mosque. But if while you are washing, you don't make niya of qurba, but still it is washed. Even if a machine can be programmed that does proper tathir from religious perspective, that's enough. Okay? It's wajib tabassuli. But wajib ta'abudi needs qasd qurba. Ertekov in itself is mustab, it can become wajib, for, for example, we'll discuss when you have, you know, done you know, part of it, it may become wajib. But in itself is mustahab. But since it is ta'abudi, you need qasta qurba. Yalzamu fi sihhat al-i'tikaf qasta qurba is ta'abudi. And it has been argued for this being ta'abudi. Why the takeoff is ta'abudi? Why it's ibadah? Avalan bil ijma. They said, all ulama have said, all fuqaha, that it is ibadah. But this ijma which is claimed is ijma al mangul. We have to establish for ourselves. He says, "La jazma We don't have yaqeen. We don't have certainty that there is ejma. Bal aqsa ma fil The maximum that is here possible to say is, "Adamul etla al khilaf." We can say, "We don't know anyone who disagreed." Of course, this is very close to ejma. But ejma means that you have to be sure that no one has disagreed. No, everyone has agreed. But you say, to our knowledge, uh, we don't know if someone has disagreed. Of course, if someone is very much doing research in fiqh and can be sure that no one has mentioned, then they can claim ijma. But he says, I'm not sure about ijma. After, of course, some search. Number two, in addition to ijma, one may refer to the ayah that we mentioned before. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim ba'ahidna ila Ibrahim wa Ismail an tahira baytiya lil-ta'ifina wal-aqifina wal-ruk'a al-sujud. Here Allah says to Ibrahim and Ismail they should clean his house so that those who want to do tawaf or etekaf or say salat, they can do it. This shows that etekaf is about like tawaf, like ruku, sujood. Bitaqrib annahu laysa al-amr bitathir al-bayt illa likay yuta'abbad bitawaf wa al-etekaf this command to clean the house of God is not, not, is not except for what? For doing ibadah with tawaf or etikaf fihe fil bayt. Not lil maksil mujarrad, just to stay in bayt, make it clean for them that if they want to do tawaf or salat or just stay there. For example, le gharad al they want to do some business there have a second or they want to leave there or something like this. They want to have some rest there. Outside is, for example, hot, they want to have rest. This is not the meaning of 
للعاکفین عاکفین is about شیخ ایروانی سیز و فیه ان غایت ما یدل علیه ان الاعتکاف المعمور به تطهیر البیت لعجله هو الاعتکاف العبادی the maximum that this ayah indicates is that a takeoff which is commanded as a you know kind of purpose for tatir that a takeoff is a body a takeoff repeat which like Salat and Tawaf has a condition and that is Taharatul Masjid and you must do Tathir of Masjid that Etikaf is Ibadi but is any Etikaf Ibadi? is Etikaf in principle Ibadi? he says no لا أن أسل الاعتكاف Ibadi what does it mean? اي يحتمل ان للاعتكاف حصتين اعتكاف is a no it can have two types one type of اعتكاف can be عبادي that needs تطهير another kind of اعتكاف is not عبادي doesn't need تطهير it's not very uh, maybe a strong objection and he himself says of course, he accepts that at least ayah can be used as mu'ayyad, even if it is not uh, accepted by him as a dalil. He accepts that ayah supports the idea that etikaf is a body. Some people have used ajma. Some people have used the ayah. But he, he himself says, al awla what is better for istidla, for argument, is to refer to ertekazul mutashara'a. People who are ahl sharia people who are practicing, deep in their mind, it is there that etekaf is an act of worship and needs khastul qurba. And since this ertekaz cannot originate except from teaching of ma'asum, then they must have received this from Ma'asum. Otherwise, there is no way why over centuries there has been such ertekaz. The fact that niya of qurba is needed for ertekaf is clear in the minds of religious people, practicing people. They know. We want to say what is the reason for that. Otherwise, he doesn't doubt that in the mind of people, it is there that etikaf is about and it's qasta qurba. La buddha lahu min mansha. There must be an origin for this. It cannot come by accident. Walaysa huwa in laysa al mansha. إلا الوصول من معدن العصمة والتحارة except coming from the source of اسمة التحارة means أهل البيت عليهم أفضل الصلاة والسلام جيلا بعد جيل so generation after generation they passed on this وإلا otherwise if we say there is no source no origin Yalzam sudur al ma'lul bila illa. It can be a case of having effect without cause. There must be an origin for this. In any case, what is established among our jurists is that a takeoff, to be a takeoff, is an act of worship in need of qastul qurba. Some have said, there is ejma, Sheikh Irwan says, at least we can say we have not seen anyone disagreeing with this. Now, the next question is, this niya that we said is needed, when should take place? 
you know, we had Nia about fasting. We talked about Nia in fasting a lot. Now about Etekaf. Summa innahu hal yakfi tabyitu niyyate qabla al-fajr iza lam tabqa irtikazan va bi surat hal ijmaliya if someone in his mind knows that he is doing a takaf when fajr is, is starting fajr of the first day of etikaf he knows etikaf and even if he doesn't mention he knows oh, that's no issue but suppose someone is sleeping at the time of fajr he went to the masjid earlier you know found a place but wanted to have a little rest and get ready for fajr but he was asleep he was he felt asleep woke up after fajr so he didn't make niya before fajr but in the night before he had the niya is that enough tabyit from beituta Bata yabito means to stay overnight, spend the night, yeah? Like Laylatul Mabit for the night that Amir al Mu'minin slept in the house of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa so that he can migrate. It's called Laylatul Mabit, Beituta. So, Hal yakfi tabyitun niyya means, is it sufficient that in the night you have the niyya, qabl al fajr but at the time of Fajr, you don't have this niya in your mind, even Ertekazan. Why? Because, for example, you have been sleeping. Kama lo dakhal al mukallif al masjid qabl al Fajr. Vanawa, in the night, had the niya, tabyitu niya happened. But nama ilama ba'd al Fajr. Is it enough or not? Al Jawab, the answer is this Al Al Mukallaf Taratan Yanvi Tahakuk Al Ertekaf Fi Vakt Duhulahi Kabla Al Fajr Thumma Yana. There are different scenarios. One scenario is this Taratan, sometimes. Mukallaf, make the niya of a takaf. He says, I want to do a takaf when he enters masjid. Qabl al fajr. Two, three hours or in the night, in the middle of night, earlier night, he went to the masjid to be placed, to be ready, and makes niya. Thumma yanam. Then he sleeps. There is no problem here. He had the niya, it was clear why he is there, and no problem. But sometimes he goes to masjid, he is not yet maybe sure that he wants to do etikaf or not. He says, at the time of Fajr, I will decide and make niya, for example. Yanvi filayl tahakkukahu min hin al-fajr. In the night, he says that at the time of fajr, I make niya. It's not that he says, I am going to make it a calf. No, he says, at the time of fajr, I'm making niya. What's the difference? Perhaps it means that he is not very sure. Then he sleeps on the time, at the time of Fajr, unfortunately, he doesn't wake up, he wakes up after Fajr. Recording in progress. Okay. 
This is the case, a scenario that we maybe need to do tawaqqof, means we suspend the judgment. Why? Because when i'tikaf started at the time of Fajr, at that time there was no niyya, muqarana between niyya and action was not there. But he says, even here, what is plausible is that it is valid. Why? Because what do you need as niyya? Is a lazimu tahaqqu matlabain. Two issues must be there for validity of action, which is a body. We need two things. Intisabul fi'l ila shakhs. One is that this action must be someone's action. This cannot be done by a machine. This cannot be done, for example, by a mad person, by a child, by someone who doesn't understand. Okay, so someone might make a person must be involved and he must have niya of qurba. Wakonu an qastel qurba. Kho, al awwal mutahakkik. Here, this action is coming from a person, a particular person who is qualified. La annahu ma dam qad nama an al qastel mazkur. As long as he slept with the niya that I will make a from Fajr, Orphan said this is enough. They say he has the niya. He knew what he wanted to do. He was sure about his action. Just he said, at that time I make the niya. So the first Requirement and tasabul fil ila shakhs according to orf is there. The second requirement, konu and qasd al qurba, this is also there. Al thani aizan mutahakiku. Because what is murtakaz, what is you know in the mind of mutashare, is that. You don't need to have in every second of the period that you are doing the action that I am doing this qurbatan illallah or meaning this. Um, just why you are doing this? What is your motive? If you are asked, you say this, but you don't need to have it all the time. Okay, so this person at the time of Fajr was sleeping. No problem. It's like someone that later sleeps, for example. He knows what he wants to do. لأن الارتكاز لا يقتضي اعتبار تحققها يعني تحقق القربة من البداية بنحو المقارنة التفصيلية means moment by moment قصد القربة must be with the action no بل اعتبار تحققها في الجملة في الجملة means as a whole not in every part. Similarly, we can also justify that when someone goes for wuquf in Arafat, okay, if before the time of wuquf, Okay, he has the niya. Niya tahaqqat. Then tara and thumma tara and Then he sleeps. By the time he is very tired, by the time he wakes up, the time as wuquf is finished. We can say this is sufficient because wuquf means to stay there with the niya. And he had niya before, and he was ready for that. يمكن توجيه الاكتفاء بالنية قبل الوقت في الموقف بعرفات. For example, from the time of Adhan, he has to make Niyya, but before that he had the Niyya. فيما إذا تحققت يعني تحققت النية ثم ترى النوم أرز النوم تارين أرز. 
Then he went to sleep. He fell, you know, fell asleep. Wastamarra ila ma ba'd al waqt. This sleep continued till the time was over, the Maghreb. You can say this is valid. Alhamdulillah, this finished. Inshallah, in the next session, we talk about Hukmul I'tikaf. I'tikaf is mustahab, but in some circumstances, it becomes wajib. It can become wajib for nazr, for example, or it can become wajib when someone, for example, does part of it, for example, you know, does two days, you know, then he has to finish. We will discuss about it different uh, scenarios. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. May Allah bless you, inshaAllah. May Allah bless you. Iltimaas dua. Muhtaj dua. Fiyamallah. Khudafas. Fiyamallah.